Hi everybody, I hope you are doing well. I would like to introduce you to a new idea I have for my channel. I'm just going to try it out for probably two or three weeks just to see how I get along with it um, and to see how you guys receive it. So what this is, I want to try a new concept of things that um, I am seeing online which I might be intrigued or even willing to go out and spend money on and go and buy. I want to call this series, What Has Caught My Eye This Week? So the premise is, is basically, I'm just going to shop online. So go around to all the different online stores. The Sephora's, the Look Fantastic's, the Beauty Bay's, Space NK, Cult Beauty, Boots, all of those different sorts of stores where I can buy things online and just see what they are promoting, what's being advertised and see if I'm actually interested in buying anything. Just having a little chat really about the products that are being shown at the moment. At the moment, I'm expecting quite a few products to be promoted for Valentine's. So I just want to see if there's anything out there that I am intrigued in. The reason why I'm doing this is because I am losing a lot of faith in the British subscription boxes. The reason why I started subscription boxes in the first place was because I wanted to be introduced to new products that I could try out. And then if I liked it, I could go ahead and buy the full size of it. That hasn't been happening recently in the boxes I receive here in the UK in particular. Um, a lot of the products tend to be quite cheap. They tend to be a lot of repeat products. They are products that don't suit my skin colouring or my skin type or whatever the reason. They're just not products that I want to go out and buy. And a lot of the time they are just products that aren't even available to buy online. They tend to be products that are made by these cheap private label products made in by Alibaba or sold in Alibaba, AliExpress. And they put a private label on them, then put a huge price on it and then they put it in a subscription box with a massive markup. Um, and they're just poor quality products. I want good products. I want quality products. I want fun products. Basically, beauty and makeup and skincare, all that stuff, it's my time to treat and pamper myself. So I'm going to try this instead. So let's have a look and see what Sephora has got at the moment. So you've got this thing here saying they've got fragrances up to 20% off. Not really looking for fragrances. So let's see what they've got new. See if there's anything that I could be interested in. Okay, so we've got this Elf Cosmetics Glow Reviver Lip Oil. That could be something I'm interested in. Oh, this thing from Sol de Janeiro. Um, the Del Delicia Drench Body Butter. I know they have got a new perfume mist, which I think might be here. Ooh, that's a big one. I'm sure there's a cheaper version of that. Just saw. Here we go. This one here. I might pick that up. Um, I do like the Sol de Janeiro Perfume Hair Body Mist. They smell really nice. I don't know what this fragrance is. So let's have a look and see what the notes are. Top notes, Velvet Plum. We've got vanilla orchid and dry nuts, sheer sandalwood. Hmm, well, I do like sandalwood. I might be tempted with that. Oh, look, it's out of stock. <laughs> it's me saying, yeah, I might go ahead and buy that. I'll have a look and see if it's been sold anywhere else. But that's something I am definitely interested in purchasing. What else is new? Um, Huda Beauty are going on to the Triangular Puffs. £11. Charlotte Tilbury kissing lipsticks I, have, I haven't tried any charlotte tilbury lipsticks i don't think so i don't know what they're like bobby brown lipsticks i know and they are really nice they used to be the lipstick she had years ago um called i think it was called fudge absolutely loved it why is there no color of this one cranberry that looks a little bit too brown toned for me and that's how it looks on different skin toners. Mm, no, not for me. Okay, let's move on. Tarte, got their lip plumps. I have received one in my Ipsy. There's, I can't afford Elemis. Elemis is expensive. That's why I like receiving it in my beauty boxes. Fenty have got a new lip um, balm. What's this colour? Let's have a look. Fuchsia Flex. That looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Oh, they're very sheer, aren't they? Mm. 
mm, a little bit too sheer. I want a bit more pigment than that. What else is there? We've got Tarte. I saw this um, face and cheek palette somewhere else. And you know what? I was actually quite intrigued by it. Now, I'm assuming this bottom right is the bronzer. So that would be too... I think that would be too light for me because that's near enough my skin colour. The blush is too pale. I think I saw a palette like this somewhere else and they had it in dark and I was intrigued by it. What else is going on? Um, Elia, this is supposed to be a really good brand but I haven't tried anything from them and I'm not willing to risk spend, spending £64 on something that I may not like. Um, let's have a look what else is there. Got Natasha Denona. Ooh, look at that Marc Jacobs. That looks pretty. I do like some of the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfumes. What else have we got? We've got It Cosmetics, Murad, Bioma. Okay, they're a really, really nice brand. I do like that brand. What else is there? Aveda, shampoos. I don't think there's anything more here. Let's have a quick look. Anything here that's going to grab my attention? Pre-wash oil. Hmm. £30 though. You could just use normal oil rather than that. But that's interesting. I'm not going to ignore that. I'm going to heart that as something I might come back to. What else is there? Fresh. It's a nice brand as well. Sephora's own brand. I really want to try um, some of Sephora's own brand products because apparently they're really good. And I haven't really tried anything from that brand as yet, from their own collection. What's we got? Do, do, do. More Marc Jacobs. A lot of repeats here. The same products. I think what I'm looking for was more makeup. I think that's what I'm looking for. Ooh, that colour's nice. That caught my eye. I kind of like that colour. I think I'm going to be hearting that. That's something I might be picking up in the future. Um, Rare Beauty. Now, I've heard about this. There's a channel that I watch every Sunday. Um, Jen Love Reviews, American. She does um lots of reviews and just hot topics in the American beauty space. Um, she talks about everything with a lot of knowledge. She does a lot of research. So she's not just gossiping. She tries to bring us facts. And she sort of did a review of the new Rare Beauty range of products that have come through. And this hand cream, she really liked. She didn't so much, it wasn't so much the hand cream itself. It was actually the, the um, what do you call it? The vessel that it's in. Because she was using the vessel to massage her hands. And that's the whole idea of the design. Um, she was really enjoying massaging her hands with it. She said it was great for that. Um, and it was something she said she would literally pick up again just for the hand massage thing. So that was interesting. Um, the body lotion, I remember her saying that the lotion itself was really, really nice. But the design of the packaging wasn't great because it took a lot to squeeze a product out. And if you've got dexterity issues, you might have a few problems with that. Uh, Pat McGrath, I can't afford Pat McGrath. Taut. Let's have a look. Anything else? So there's quite a few new products out there. I do like Clinique. I wish we could get more sort of sample sizes of this Clinique Moisture Surge um, moisturiser. It's so good. But you can see the price tag on it. £79. Ooh. Fenty Skin. What's this? Cherry Dub AHA Face Mask. Okay. I'm making faces here, but you can't see my face. <laughs> Anything else of any interest? Not really interested in MAC products. Hair by Sam McKnight. Every time I hear that, I always think it's a singer. It just sounds like a singer. Dior. I do like Dior. I did like their eyeshadow palettes. Um, jo Malone. Can't afford her. Let's have a look. Anything else? These products aren't so new. I didn't know Huda Beauty did colour corrector. Or did I? Hmm. 
Pat McGrath, look at that, £119. Wow. Natasha Denona. That looks weird. The packaging looks like it's damaged, doesn't it? Is that deliberate? Is it supposed to look like that? It sort of splodges everywhere. It's all very nude. Nude with pink undertones. Not for me. But it just looks like it's damaged, doesn't it? Um, anything else? I like the idea of the Rare Beauty lip and um, a lip colour and a lip liner duo. I wonder what sort of colours are available. Let's have a look. Oh, it's just that one colour. Okay. Wouldn't be for me. If there were some other colours, I'd definitely be interested, especially at that price. That price isn't too bad at all. Kosas. I didn't know Kosas was over here. Okay. Um, I've received Kosas products in Ipsy BoxyCharm. Really nice quality again. More perfumes. Looks like a lot of perfumes here. Okay. So that's all the products in the Sephora. I am interested in a couple of the products. What did I put in there? So I put in the Biogeo Rosemary Pre-Wash Oil. Kind of interested in that. And I, that nail colour is shouting my name. I'm almost tempted to buy it now. But I'm going to hold off and I will come back and review it. And I'm going to have a look at some other brands as well afterwards. But this is how I'm thinking of doing this. What do you guys think? Is this an idea I should pursue and continue with? Yeah? Let me know what you think down below. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching and listening. Let me know what you think. I think the next brand I will do, or the next shop online I will do, will be Cult Beauty. Yep. All right. Take care. Bye.